The Philippines has experienced some of the most devastating calamities in the recent years. Sometimes, even as early as the month of May, typhoons begin to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. Knowing this, how do we prepare for the impending calamity? And how do we keep our families safe? It's rainy season and we have a lot of things happening and we have to be prepared. So here with us today is UP Professor Mahar Lagmai, who is the Executive Director of Project NOAA, or the Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards. Yes. yes. <laughs> I got that Lovely. right. So thank you so much for having us in your office. Um, first of all, what really interests me is in the past interview, you actually said that Filipinos need to develop a culture of safety. What exactly do you mean by this? That culture of safety is uh, trying to get as much information as uh, you can get and it's not taking action uh, just before a calamity happens. It's long before. According to Dr. Lagmai, there are two basic elements of an effective disaster preparedness program. One is really to have that good warning in place and that's normally given by the government and there must be a match of appropriate action. In 2011, the government embarked on a big project called the Project NOAA. Let's talk a little bit more about Project NOAA specifically. Project NOAA uh, was a project that was uh, conceived immediately after Sendong. Basically to give uh, early warnings to flood-prone areas, six hours in advance and to enhance the geohazard maps, make it more detailed, and uh, make storm surge inundation forecasts and uh, inundation maps. But the warning would be useless if ignored by the public. What specific actions do you think we keep our viewers? If we live in a flood risk area, what specific actions at the family level can they take? Let's say they say, okay, there's something coming. What we really need to do is to prepare long in advance and also prepare just weeks or days before an event happens. Before being trapped, we're already far away from that hazardous place or that compromised place. Dr. Lagmai also recommends that every family prepare what they call a survival kit. First thing that you want to do, if there's a warning that there's a very big typhoon, you can uh, get out of harm's way. But in case you are, you are there and you get trapped, you should know what to do. You should have this uh, disaster kit uh, that can make use of. It's a go bag wherein all of the necessary tools, necessary equipment, so that when there's a disaster, your family will survive at least for three, four days until help comes in. Inside the bag are the following items, a raincoat, a thermal blanket, water, and a food package. The kit also contains a solar-powered flashlight with built-in radio which may be used in monitoring news, a USB port charger, a keychain, and a whistle. You might think that they're not necessary now because you don't need it, but eventually, if there's a, an event and there's a catastrophe and you're already trapped in that scenario, then you will have something to, to bank on. And in this day and age of tablets and smartphones, Project NOAA has also developed an app that makes information more accessible. They also turn to Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms to make sure that the public is well informed. A successful disaster program is really a community effort. It involves the private sector, uh, civil society organizations, the government agencies doing their part. Act now before the calamity happens. Because if you do that, you get yourself out of harm's way, you know what to do, you don't panic, you avoid the disasters. Information is key. Take advantage of it because that information may save your life. The Philippines is a disaster-prone country. Every year, many homes are destroyed and sadly, many, many lives are lost. While we can't prevent natural calamities from occurring, we can equip ourselves and our families to be prepared for them. When natural disaster strikes, it is best to always be prepared. 
With the threat of impending typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural calamities, having a home, a safe harbor where you can seek refuge and protection from harm's way is certainly a must. Purchase a home that is safe and secure. Ensure that the structure is well built and the materials used are of good quality. Choose a property from a reputable real estate developer who is known for maintaining superior and top-notch standards. And before making the final decision, make sure to have every nook and cranny checked, including plumbing, flooring, roofing, and electrical wiring. With BDO Home Loan, you're assured that your family has a safe and secure home that can withstand the test of time. Apply now and avail of an all-in financing option that includes payment for insurance premium, taxes, mortgage registration fee, and other home-related expenses.